Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is use your Surface as a second screen. Windows 10 devices like the Surface have an inbuilt technology called Miracast, which allows you to wirelessly share your screen. But did you know that you could actually project to your Surface with Miracast from another device? To try this out, you'll need two devices. I'm going to use my Surface Pro and my Surface Go to demonstrate this. On my Surface Go, I'm going to use this device as the second screen that I'm going to project to. So I need to open up the projection settings in the settings app. An easy way to find these settings is to open up your action center and in the control panel at the bottom, make sure that's expanded and click on connect. A keyboard shortcut for this one is Windows and K. That'll get you straight into that connect menu. The connect menu shows you a list of all of the devices that you can interact with, whether it be Bluetooth or Miracast devices. But down the bottom, you'll see a link to the settings app that says project to this PC. You can also find this in the settings app under system projecting to this PC. Now this feature will be turned off by default. So let's go ahead and turn it on. We have a couple of different options here. You'll want to select the option that says available everywhere on secure networks. Underneath that, we have some permissions that we can set about how you're going to allow connections to your device. And at the bottom, we also have a setting that enables you to use this feature when you're not plugged into power. But bear in mind that this feature will use a little bit more power than usual. So now that I've turned this on, on my Surface Go, I'll go back to my Surface Pro and I'm ready to project the Surface Pro across to the Surface Go. I'm gonna do the same thing on my Surface Go. I'm gonna bring up the Connect menu. So we'll go into the Action Center, expand out the control panel at the bottom and click on Connect. In my list now, I can see my Surface Go appearing. And if I simply click on that, I can start projecting across to the Surface Go. It'll take a few seconds to set up this connection. Once the connection is established, with Miracast, Windows 10 also implements a feature called Touchback that allows me to control my Surface Pro here from my Surface Go with touch and pen interactions. But I do need to allow that setting to work. Bear in mind that the Surface Go is connected wirelessly to the Surface Pro. So if I use pen or touch on this screen, I may perceive a slight lag. But if I wanted to use my Surface Go as a second screen, I probably want to extend rather than duplicate the desktop. To do that, we'll go into display settings back here in the settings app under system. We click on display and I'm going to scroll right down to the bottom and change the setting from duplicate to extend. Scroll back up to the top and you'll now see your Surface Pro and Surface Go screens appearing and you can readjust the orientation of the screens to suit what you're actually working with. Now I can take one application for example, my OneNote window, and drag that across onto the Surface Go screen. And back here on my Surface Pro, I can have a Word document or something else on that screen. So I'm effectively using my Surface Go here as a lightweight portable display that can double as a companion device or tablet. So maybe you're the sort of person who needs a really high powered specialized laptop and a tablet like the Surface Pro just won't do. You could use the Surface Go as a companion device, something that you can take to meetings and take notes. But when you're back in the hotel or at a desk somewhere and working mobile, you can use the Surface Go then as an extended screen, giving you a pretty comprehensive work environment, even though you're mobile. Remember to give us the thumbs up if you found this tip helpful and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.